looking at the reviews already online, Expendables 3 doesn't get a lot of love. Sure, it suffers in comparison to the second movie in the franchise, which went all out on the 80s action stars. For Expendables 3, a big factor both in the positives and the negatives is the casting. Mel Gibson really gives his all as the villain, and the script and the other actors do everything they can to build him up. Like I said in my Expendables 2 review, I've never been much of a fan of John claude Van Damme. Mel Gibson is way better, really throwing himself into the role in a way that's exaggerated and intense, but not over the top. Gibson's character is a former member of the Expendables team, and his scene with Stallone in the back of the van has real emotional weight for me. It adds to the lore of the franchise in a natural way, that doesn't detract from the action-based nature of the movies, but beefs up Stallone's character. It's easy to forget that Stallone has real talent, and an actor as good as Gibson brings that out. Antonio Banderas and Stallone have a similar scene that made me feel the same way. Stallone isn't an actor like De Niro or Pacino who can hold the screen by himself, but with a decent script, and someone to play against. It's clear why he's been in Hollywood so long. Kelsey Grammer adds similar gravitas, again expanding the universe out without changing the tone. Even Harrison Ford seems like he's having a good time. Particularly of note is Wesley Snipes, who plays it somewhat unhinged, very fun, like in the opening scene where he is this oasis of calm as the action ramps up. It's a great opening scene with a train and a helicopter which for me was a big step up in terms of intensity of the action scenes compared to the previous two movies. Onto those negatives of the casting. Well, it's the, the younger members of the team that they recruit. Ronda Rousey is good enough, but the rest are a bit anonymous. They're not bad, it's just the point of the Expendables films is to see big name action stars on screen together. On the one hand, by the end of the movie, I kind of liked the new guys. I thought everyone seems to be getting on well. I'd like to have seen another movie with them together. Obviously, that didn't pan out with Expendables 4. Ultimately, I can see why people might have been disappointed with 3, even if I quite enjoyed it. The abandoned hotel sequence towards the end was really big scale. It might have been better to get two or three 2000s action starts. Angelina Jolie, Matt Damon, Orlando Bloom, Clive Owen, names like that sort of come to mind. Might have been interesting. Obviously, these are big stars, busy people, scheduling conflicts. So really, it's kind of amazing that the, f the casts of the first three movies are actually as good as they are. Maybe Expendables 3 represents the concept of the action hero supergroup reaching its natural limits. It's different from 2, but it's still worth checking out. Thanks for watching.